Hello, welcome back to Bernard Sushi Live Coding. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the newly updated line nodes in Spreadshock add-on in Blender. And let's really just quickly take a look. So line nodes, uh, probably it should be called line MK3 because this is the, the third update of this uh, node. So line node is really one of the simple basic nodes that's really easy to use and I recommend you when you first using nodes like this you just uh, try it out right away so vertices edges if you plug it in um, it's really just creating a line right and uh, let's let's make the the points larger 10 maximum and uh, the edge a little bit thicker um, it makes line in directions that you want x y or z axis and you can center it you can normalize it normalize probably something that sounds a little bit strange but normalize basically is normalizing it into certain unit so no matter how much details you you add it it's going to be normalized into that particular unit size um, by default, of course, the size is 10, but you can make it 1, so it's uh, it fits the unit of 1. So that can be really handy. What's new exactly is the A, B, and O, D. That sounds kind of uh, hard to understand, but uh, hopefully the documentation is going to be updated for this line notes. It doesn't have any documentation on that. But let's say but tr let's try the basic anyway so turn off uh, center or normalize keep it like at the very basic and then let's try a b so a b if you can guess it it's connecting points a to points b to uh, i say points with s because it's a you can do a lot like uh, not just a single value but multiple value but for now it's just a two value right zero 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 point five this is by default we can also make it one probably a lot easier so it's it's just like one 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 in xyz so point a is at zero 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 point b is if i make it like zero zero one if i move it to the side and move it in the this is x direction of course that's the y directions that's the z direction so that's that's a lot easier to understand now because we just simply need to provide two points uh, let me try actually this is a line mk3 first look always save your blend let's try multiple value let's try random vector for example Let's plug this in. Okay, now you have random points, three random points that's connected to, if I make this zero, 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 so now it's a, little, a lot easier to understand. Let's make it 10, 10 random points. So 10 random points, of course, all those points that's outside and zero, zero, zero is this one. So a single point attached into multiple points. So you can do this very, very easily. That's really, really cool, right? If you randomize this input, you can also have that. That's become so easy. This is unbelievable because I have, I have many node tree set up in the past that's trying to recreate this. Now we have only like few, few nodes to generate this really complex looking result I, I i think line notes in itself now can can be like a single chapter in a book i'm always thinking to make like a book for, about nodes and this is in particular very very cool so that's uh connecting lines you can also i think connecting random with random don't use the same seed because it's the same number i mean don't use 
same seed number you have to kind of randomize that as well the seed and you, you you also end up with this this is also another kind of surprising setup anyhow that's a b that's the the most basic thing i could think of od od is, sounds weird but if you can guess it is origin and direction this one slightly needs um, a bit of knowledge of the normal or the like the, the vector of something um it seems similar to ab but ab is connecting to point point a to point b od you you provide an origin and here you provide the normal normal is something that if you are not familiar with uh, math or like a computer graphic 3d the normal is sounds weird you kind of think oh what is what is normal normal is like the directions based on that origin it's really really handy actually if you the, the basic thing uh, I think let me think of something plane if I have a plane oops a plane a polygon usually have the normal you should know that if you are a 3d artist you will eventually know this polygon have the normal and the face normal is pointing up it's not pointing down because that's the opposite and each vertices also have normal uh, I don't know which point uh, which normal the vertex have but it's uh, somewhere so that's a plane um, let me try using the normal so calculate the normal of this plane So this guy definitely have face normal and vertex normal. So I can use that into this guy and assign it as the directions. So, and apart from the normal, this guy also definitely have the center of polygon. So that's also another nodes just to get to the origin of this guy. So now, now the line actually pointing based on the normal of the plane if I rotate the plane um, okay let's see I probably can just use a single nodes like that okay and if I if I rotate the plane rotate drop it here using Euler so I'm rotating the plane and the result should be updated here so the plane no matter no matter how I rotate it the normal and the point of origin is affecting our line so that's also really really handy definitely I will use this a lot because now if we are let's say if I reset the rotation and then I have multiple plane and let's change the colors to distracting okay um, this one instead if I instead of rotating I can uh, let's say randomize the this uh, post, uh, points of the plane let me hold shift and then cut is making this what do you call this reroute if I randomize the points there you go that's probably a little bit clearer what's going on I'm random randomizing the points of the plane and then this node is recalculating the the normals and the origins and it's updated on the on the line as well the way it's being instanced so these these nodes it use in the past it used to be just have xyz directions now this one have a b and o d and this is really like becoming like really robust a node really powerful thanks for i think victor for this update
um, and not just plain you also can have you can also use 3d you know like real 3d like a maybe like a box let me so with this kind of thing with all lines I recommend you if you are using notes a lot you want to go to the note editor and turn the noodle curving to zero now it's becoming lines this one probably easier to work with you can definitely tidy up this thing a little bit better I'm using right click and trying to move this okay that's the fewer draw for the plane that's the fewer draw for our line <laughs> perhaps this should be switch but anyway the so okay randomize I talk about that rotation if I want to rotate the plane and the box okay plug in the box this is the vertices and this is for the polygon and look at that look at that uh, you can have now the line on every face of the box very very easily and you can increase the resolution of the box you can randomize the box and you can also rotate it around if you look at this uh, it looks actually just like the hair um, in, in blender we have really powerful um, hair or fur system and this is exactly that without all the dynamics it's just like a line on the face of every polygon you can also instead instead of using the center of the face you want to use the maybe the vertex position and then the vertex normal uh, yeah I should have break, broken this into multiple video but I think we can show that very very quickly so normal so calculate the normal right and you plug the vertices and polygon and also maybe edges and now you can have the face normal and the vertex normal so instead of the face we want to use the vertice, uh, vertices so to do that you just um, using the same vertices but plug in the vertex normal into the directions I think and I need to also change this setting there you go I think now it's a uh, I think it's using the vertex normal so vertex normal yeah, you probably would expect it vertex normal to be a little bit more spread but it it doesn't do that in this case I really I think I don't need to maybe don't do this first just keep it the origin and the normal there's a normal absolute that's also interesting see normal absolute is kind of spreading spreading around the objects dot so that's probably what you want also so that's kind of pointing out straight away but normal apps I rarely use this but I just found out okay this one seems to be nicer it's like spread around so if you are using Suzanne plug in the vertices and the face now you can have line on every polygon face of Suzanne reduce the step so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this for the the face okay it's almost like hair that's growing out of Suzanne currently it's only using the center of polygon but the real hair uh, simulation or setup usually instead of the point center point of the polygon the hair will spread around like random randomly on the on the surface of the objects but this is a really interesting really really interesting setup just the basic idea 
for you uh, to get started with this uh, line notes. This is really powerful. You can make maybe lightning kind of setup and uh, a lot of things. Line is actually very useful. The other notes that I recommend is this UV connection. In the past, a UV connection is a little bit maybe a little bit difficult to understand, but this is also power, powerful to make a lot of multiple lines at the same time. But this guy is now is I don't know how to explain it. It's a it's really powerful. <laughs> yeah, I really like these notes now. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's a quick look. Uh, first look at the updated line notes. Now it's line MK3. And yeah, so this should be pretty clear what it's doing, hopefully. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.